Okay, we're outside here. Um, it's sun's over here. It's probably three o'clock, and this has been heating. I mean, I just took it in. I was just inside. Stay in the morning. Coming out, taking it outside. You might want to put it to the east. You just, I just got these things set up. You can have a better setup, but I just got these milk crates set up, and you can point that to the east. Uh, Another option, I have this so I can set it up and move these so that, say, your son's over here, you can have it kind of set up here for the noonday sun and move these like this, and the sun will reflect back like this. Now, now the sun's up here, if you want to move it, I usually wait till about 5 or 6 sometimes this time of year to move it towards the west, so I only have to move it twice a day, but if you have a cloudy day or something, you might want to move it more often so that, uh, you know, you get a hotter temperature in there. So let's say we're moving it over here towards the sun. And there's people online who have good videos of how they have reflectors for these tubes. Usually the smaller tubes, but you can have these too. And then I might put this up. I don't think you'll be able to see this on the video, but you can tell with your hand if it's hitting the tube well there. You can tell on the other side that right here it's up there. We're going to move it up there and it's like that. So, and I put this on top. Now, there's one thing I need to do about this time of day is move some hot water that I got from these other tubes over here into here so I'll have a full chamber at night. It's probably not so critical if you have a really sunny day, but Especially on cloudier days, you need to make sure this chamber is full of water so you can maintain the temperature up higher. But I'm going to put a couple in there right now. And this water should be boiling. I can see it's boiling over here. We can get that. You can see the steam coming off here. It's boiling in there. And I'm going to put that right into this chamber. Now the, the guy on Truck City CB, GPS says to not put, you know, really cold things in a really hot chamber. Uh, but this chamber is really hot and this water is really hot, so you shouldn't have any problem. And I got plenty in there, so I think. Sometimes you got to check to make sure your food isn't stopping the water from getting down in there. These over here um, are also boiling. I just have a mirror set back here. Repeat that. What? Repeat it. Oh, this, this is just a mirror, and then it's boiling in here. And this I usually use for hot water. I haven't had a hot water heater for a few years. And I just use this for bathing or wash, washing dishes. A lot of people wouldn't like that, of course, but, you know. Like most people, I guess. Um, these, I just these are actually on eBay. These uh, ones like this for a hundred dollars, for ten of them, got shipping included. So each one of these is ten dollars. Um, these I bought earlier. So these are pretty, pretty cheap. If you want to just start out with something like that. This one I use to, like on that cloudy day, I got temperatures up to 190 even with clouds just by using this reflector. This will heat up faster because it's in a smaller tube, but it also cool down faster. Um, anything else you can think of? If not, I guess that's... Thank you. Bye.